this is the second layer. I'm gonna take this off. See the sun worms here. See, they're still in here eating what's left of all of this food that's here. But the bulk of the worms are in here. This is the layer where the first food is. See all the gnats coming out? You gotta get used to that when we start this. Now let's move this around, see what we got. Look at that. This is out of two dozen worms on board. And now the whole um, bin is full of worms. See that? They don't want to be disturbed all the time, so that's why I'm just showing you this for one time. That's it. This has got everything. Look at that. Pineapples, mangoes. Look at that. Worms. Two dozen from Walmart. And now there's hundreds in here. Piece of a phone book in here. Yep, that's right. They'll eat almost anything that's organic. I just want you all to see this because this is how you do it. And that produces food for these. That produces food for these. Um, trees and also for my vegetables. This is the tool I use to graft the uh, grapevines. Just thought I'd show you that. This is a real easy to use tool. You simply just clamp it in and it makes like a decent graft that 80%, mm, 90% of the time it'll take. I call it last of the fall roses. Look at that, it dropped all the seeds right there. Right at the end of the uh, pellet. Look at that, it smells good too. Oh yeah, that smells good. That's a really nice smell. This is the one got a bit of a mold on it. Wow, that's something. I gotta get some more of that. Some mold. And it's eating away the bark. Right, let me figure out what I got here. Grafting tool. Pair pliers, I guess that's what I call it. Alright. Just thought I'd come out here and show you this. This is a um, grapevine that I'm trying to graft. Right there, you can see the tape and the. Uh, I'm gra I've grafted on a Thompson to it. There's another one here. Um, just trying it, see how it works out and watch a couple videos on YouTube. Here's uh, one here. There you can see at the tip the um, the tape. And so these, these uh, branches are quite fragile, I learned. Um, but we'll see what happens. Now on this tree here, I put a bit of a, that white you see on there, was put on there to help kill that mold that was on it. It always had this mold on it. I thought it would go away on its own, but it didn't. So I put that on it. That should take care of it. All right. Apple trees. How do they produce apples? This, they say, should have barbs on it or something. This is a young apple tree, about two, two years old. It's uh, six and a half feet now. See where, here where? Cut it off and it grew back. And uh, this uh, tree was tipped a number of times. And uh, it is doing quite well. It is one stiff, tough tree. This is a uh, honey crisp. This one over here is, this is producing barbs on it. See, the little barbs right there. And it's got some here, I believe, and some here, um, some here, right there, the barb, and uh, some here and here. Now, someone told me that these barbs help the tree to bring in energy from the light, but it also is uh, means that this tree produces apples at its um, uh, at the stock, the, the main shoot, if you will. This one right here, as small as it is, 
It's about well, three feet tall. It, it has barbs right here. And uh, this is a honey crisp here. And this one here back here, one of my favorite, is a Fuji. And it's got, mm, I'm going to say it has barbs, but it don't. Small tree, it's small. So. This is the weakest tree right here. I'm going to cut it off. Can't even see it, how small it is. It's, it's going to do okay though. It's got plenty of food. And plus I fed it 10, 10, 10 yesterday. Once it rains, it'll water it in. It'll get a certain growth spout. And over here, in my pumpkin patch, It's an apple tree, right there, next to that pole. It is, that's a Granny Smith. This year, it's got spurs on it this year. See the little spurs right there and here. It's a, this is my pear tree. And the latest look at the pumpkins. See, there's one. Look at the size of these leaves. Look at that. And I have good sized hands. That's a pumpkin. This pumpkin is probably around, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight pounds. We got another one over here. I thought it was the biggest until I saw the other one further up in the group. This one's getting ready to turn orange. I can see that. That's a good size pump. So you can see my hand. This is heavy too. This tree here has been fed. That's a pear tree, a duchess. Sweetest pear on earth. And I'm going to also graft those to each other to produce more. And I got two up front that I'm going to also grab them. This is the smallest one I have, I think. Let me show you the biggest one. I'm going to go up here past my cherry tree. This is my grapevine. I haven't cut it back yet. But real quick, let's go over here to the other grapevine that I'm grafting. I'm converting it from this, this grapevine here is... Some kind of reddish grape, mostly probably suited for wines. It doesn't have a real good taste for, that I learned after I grew it. So now I'm grafting on a Thompson bud with a little bit of uh, electrical tape and also grab, grafted some ends on here just to make sure I got some options. There we go. Grafted that right on there. That looks good been about a week now as soon as that breaks I know I'm in good business I'm, I'm looking good this is my Thompson vine right here I'm gonna go about 12 inches up and I'm gonna start cutting back for the for the fall and I'm gonna use the cuttings to possibly start other vines that's a bud there good looking bud here Another bud here, nice bud there, nice bud there. Let's go up here in this uh, patch and see if we find that really big pumpkin. There it is right there. I like that pumpkin. That's a good looking pumpkin. It's about 10 pounds. Hidden in here is a blackberry bush. Got them everywhere in this yard. There's about 15 of them. Well, I couldn't find it. I looked and looked. Um, this here is a kiwi uh, plant. It's going to be one of the stars of my show. That's in my orchard. Um, produces a very uh, healthy fruit for you to eat. Um, it's, 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 it's supposed to be crazy once it gets going. Um, but this right here, all these little weeds in there, in the pot, I take them out as it as it goes. But but this right here has got kind of gangly, but uh, it's okay. Supposed to be able to take cold temperature. This here is an Isaiah. Um, I had to repot it a 
this makes the second time um, because they say that it, it can really it's a vigorous grower and I believe that because I've seen what it does and um, damaged leaves I'm just taking those off I want my plant to look good so this here is going to be over 20 feet long when it's an adult doing everything I can to take care of it um, seems to be responding well uh, in the winter it drops some of its leaves or all of them sometimes uh, but the plant was like $13 on eBay um, but I like it it's doing well first I thought it was dead and the uh, company said let it stay where it is they said it'll come back and, it's, and it absolutely did that it's much bigger I took a piece off here and I put it in this pot and you see here it, it appears to be doing okay um, there's a trick to planting these though what you do is you plant them really deep really deep 